Who has more fun than us when up camping? Our dogs! Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm Holly with Let's Go Now Adventures, and today we're talking about camping with our dogs. I love this topic because not only do I love camping, but John and I, we love camping with Murphy. So hey, if we haven't met yet, our channel is about all things camping. Whether you tent camp or RV camp, our goal is to just help you have a great camping experience. First off, let me introduce you to Murphy. Murphy is our five-year-old Newfoundland and he has been such an amazing addition to our family. You know, I honestly don't know what I would do without him. The unconditional love and the happiness that he shows us is just a constant reminder to me of how to relax and enjoy life a little bit more. You know, he's just so content with being with us everywhere we go. Oh, and he did tell me that camping is his favorite. <laughs> you know, I think that camping with dogs just makes the adventure better. So let's get started on the things that you'll want to do if you're thinking about taking your dog with you camping. And stick around to the end where I'll tell you how you can download your own dog camping checklist. You know, first off, look up the regulations in the area or campground before you go. The worst would be is if you got up to a campground only to find out the dogs were not allowed. You know, two of the main canyons that are right next to our house are watersheds, so dogs aren't even allowed there. It's kind of a bummer, but I get it. You know, the rules for dogs are listed on every park website. And also when you're making a reservation on the different sites, it will say there whether or not dogs are allowed. Now, some of the parks that are by the water will actually allow your dog at the campground, but not down by the beach. So just by checking out the different regulations and know before you go. Next would be to keep your dog on a leash. Take Murphy, for example. Believe it or not, he can actually be frightening to some people. I think it's because of his size. And after all, not all people like dogs. Go figure. <laughs> Keeping your dog on a leash is actually just safer for them. You know, they could be a target for wildlife like bears or skunks, and you want to respect wildlife. Also, a leash will keep them from wandering into any poisonous plants. Now, truth be told, we learned the hard way. Last year, we were down in southern Utah. We were setting up camp, and Murphy just, was just wandering around having a good old time. Now, we weren't at a campground, and he does know his basic commands, so I felt confident that he was okay to just kind of walk around. But he got into a field of nasty foxtails. Now, if you don't know what these plants are, they actually are like barbed wire plants and they bury into your dog's skin. Well, he had so many, I tried to get as many out as I could, but as they had buried in, he ended up getting sicker and sicker. We ended up at the vet. The vet had to shave him completely and removed over 300 foxtails. We learned the hard way. So just keep your dog on a leash. Now, we like to bring Murphy a tie out, especially when we're at campgrounds, so Murphy can roam around the campsite and have a little bit more freedom than a leash can provide. A little tip that we do is once we get to our new campsite, I like to take Murphy for a walk all around the campsite so that he kind of comes famil becomes familiar with the area and gets to kind of check things out. It also helps him to stretch his legs after a long car ride. Then I feel okay about putting him on a tie out so that John and I can actually get started setting up camp without having to worry about him. Remember, the area is new to your dog, so give him some time to kind of adjust to his new surroundings. And remember, if you're up camping on BLM land in the National Forest, your chances of him encountering wildlife increases. So remember, when you leave to make sure your dog has his collar on, if he's microchipped, that's a plus. Pack plenty of water. You know, I can't stress this enough. It may seem like a no-brainer, but you need to make sure that your dog stays hydrated. Heat exhaustion and dehydration could kill your dog. You know, now they have these really cool collapsible water bottles that actually attach to your dog's collar. 
They're on Amazon and I'll leave the link below. It's so nice because you can just clip them on your dog's collar so if you're out hiking or away from camp, he has something to drink his water from. Just be really careful not to let your dog drink from any standing water. You know, especially ponds with blue-green algae. It's not always easy to see, but it can be deadly for your dogs. Giardia is also found in lakes and streams, so, you know, just keep your eye on your pup. Along with water, pack extra food. Now this comes in real handy if maybe you decide to extend your stay. But also remember, when you put the food out for your dog, put it out, let them eat, and then bring it back in somewhere safe because it can attract little critters. Now, don't leave your dog tied up in your RV or your tent. You know, you brought them with you to be with you. So if you have activities planned that don't include them, you may wanna consider leaving them home. Also a no-brainer is pick up after your dog. <laughs> you know, we were at a campsite last week and there was poop everywhere. I spent the first 15 minutes cleaning up old poop so that we could enjoy our campsite. You know, just leave no trace. Bring some first aid for your dog. Now, John and I have just added to our own personal first aid kit with certain things like iodine for cleaning wounds, a tick remover, um, and some liquid bandages. You also want to protect their paws from cold and heat. You know, these little booties might take a little time to get used to, and I don't think Murphy necessarily loves wearing them, but I have peace in mind knowing that he's protected. Also, keep your dog safe around water. Now, Murphy is considered a water dog. Newfoundlands are bred for water rescue, and he actually has webbed feet for swimming, and even though he is a fantastic swimmer, we still don't take any chances when we're out kayaking. John puts on his uh, life jacket, I put on my life jacket, and Murphy puts on his life jacket. Also, make sure that your RV or your tent has enough room for your pet so that they feel safe and included. Toys are also a great thing to bring, especially if your dog seems anxious, you know, maybe being away from home. Having something familiar can help calm his anxieties and also help with boredom. Being out in the great outdoors is a great time to exercise your dogs. You know, dogs love to discover the new smells and surroundings. It's such a treat for them. They'll love it, you'll love it, because after you go for a long walk, you can both go back to the campsite and take a long nap. So, speaking of treats, don't forget to pack your treats. A couple of things that will come in handy um, when you go out is maybe have a reflective light or a light up collar for those middle of the night potty breaks. Also, extra towels come in real handy, even if you're not near the water. Think of the mud. <laughs> you know, a blanket, bed, or crate, just anything that makes it more comfortable for them to sleep in. Also, a brush or comb comes in real handy, especially if they get into something nasty. So before I wrap all this up, I just wanted to go over some of those unwritten rules you know, just to kind of keep in mind. Don't let your dog adopt another family. Sure, other campers may enjoy him, but some won't. So just keep him with you at your site. And don't shout at your dog constantly. It's so annoying to others. And if your dog won't stop barking, maybe it's time to take him for a walk to help kind of quiet him down. If your dog doesn't know those basic commands, Maybe camping is not the best option for him until he learns. And just because your dog is friendly doesn't mean that other people will assume the same thing. So bottom line, just be mindful of other campers. And last but not least, <laughs> have fun. You know, have fun, take time with your dog, enjoy each other, just being together. Camping with your dog really does make the adventure better. Hey, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. We would also love to have you subscribe to our channel. And click on the link below um, where you can get your own free dog camping checklist. So you can make sure you don't forget anything the next time you go camping with your dog. 
Hey, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye.